Hello, hello. Good evening, uh, Rosa. Good evening, uh, Nelson. And good evening, Anna, Glenda, Rosa, Ruth, Hugo. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Very good. Good evening teacher. Very good. Try to have your cameras on, guys. And welcome back. Thank God that everybody's here. And how's your vacations? No vacations? Everybody has had vacation? No? Tuvieron vacaciones? Oh, no vacations, yeah. no vacations, right? So, not for me, not for you, dijo, dijo aquel, ¿verdad? Not for me, not for you. ¿Verdad? No, no para ti, no para mí. Tuvimos que trabajar. Every day. All right. So, very good, very good. Excellent. All right. Let's wait. And right now, let's verify some information here. I want you to you double check the the first thing that we need to share would be our uh, motivation part. Okay. So, ¿por qué me gusta hacer esto? Porque we need to be motivated, right? So, every time that you have something in life, you need to be motivated. Okay. Siempre que tenemos algo en, la, en, en nuestra en nuestros objetivos o nuestra vida, tenemos que estar motivados, right? If you're not motivated, we're not doing nothing, all right? So, porque si, estaba, si usted no está motivado es porque está haciendo las cosas así, de como que, ah, voy a ver qué pasa. No, you need to be motivated, all right? So, what is your motivation? Let's see, Nelson, what is your motivation tonight? I mean, why you, why you are learning English? What is your motivation? Or what would be your motivation? Dígame. My motivation is because I want to get a, ver, a better job. Esa es una, ¿verdad? Mi motivación es porque quiero conseguir un mejor trabajo. My motivation is because I would like to get a, a car, a, a very nice car. But first, I need to have another job. Quiero tener un buen carro, pero antes de tener el carro, tengo que tener un buen trabajo. All right. And how we are going to get a new, a new job, a better job. ¿Cómo vamos a agarrar un buen trabajo? By studying, right? By studying. Okay, let's go. All right. So let's repeat motivation. Let's go. Motivation. 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 Very good. Very good. Motivation. Okay. Believe you can. Repeat. Believe you can. Believe, believe you can. can. All right. And you're halfway there. And, and you're, you're halfway, halfway, halfway there. All right. So once again, believe you can. Believe, believe you, you can. can. And you are, I mean, you're halfway there. And, and you're halfway there. 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 Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So what did that mean? Cree en ti. Porque tú estás a la mitad de ahí. All right. So, si usted cree que no va a terminar o no va a completar a uh, aprender a hablar inglés, déjeme decirle que nos estaríamos mintiendo porque usted ya está a la mitad. Ya está a la mitad. Y, de, y ya, ya empezó y créame que ya va adelantado. No, que solo llevo dos cursos. Y, no, pero ya va adelantado. All right, so, and you would do it. Usted lo va a lograr, usted lo va a conseguir. Y next time, usted va a ver que va a ser diferente. All right, you need to practice. You need to practice every time that you are learning something. You need to practice. And remember that you need to ask questions. All right, so, all right, so, so this is a commitment. All right, so, se compromete a que usted lo va a lograr. Yes? Demandeme yes. una, mani una manita de like que se compromete. Una manita de like. All right, so, let's go. Very good. Una manita de like que se compromete a que va a aprender y que se va a proponer terminar esto as soon as possible. Solo, solo dos manitas, miro. <coughs> Dios mío. Eso, eso. Very good, very good, guys. All right, so let's go and let's jump to the previous, I mean, to the previous topic. All right, so the previous topic was, let's see. Wait one second. Anybody remember what was the last topic that we checked? ¿Alguien se recuerda el último tema que vimos la vez pasada? La pregunta simple. Simple, simple present, exactly. Simple present questions and conversation, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, remember, over here, there's 
some questions. I mean, hay unas uh, preguntas que usted las va a formular, pero las que estamos formulando, valga la redundancia, en este caso serían simple present questions. All right? Porque usted me puede decir, ¿verdad que también se puede preguntar de esta manera? Sí. ¿Verdad que se puede también decir de esta manera? Sí. ¿Verdad? Pero ahorita vamos a enfocarnos en simple present questions. Repeat, simple present questions. Come on, let's go. Simple present question. Excellent, excellent. All right. So, and remember, uh, over here we have a three hints, right? So, tres claves. Cómo usted puede pronunciar, cómo puede identificar, how you can identify when we are asking a question. All right. So, for example, if I said, uh, Rosa, do you get up early? Le pregunto yo a Rosa, do you get up early, Rosa? What would be your answer? Yes, I get up. Very good. Yes, I get up early. Very good. All right. Entonces, y ahí empieza la conversación, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Entonces, o oh, de igual manera, si usted me quiere contestar así, eh, pero como con preguntas, respuestas cortas, como quien dice, ah, le voy a contestar para que ya no me haga más preguntas, usted lo puede hacer, ¿verdad? Yo le digo, do you get up early, Rosa? Yes, I do. No, I don't. That's it. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So let me ask you a quick question. How do you guys identify when we are asking questions? What would be in this case? What would be the three the three hints that the ones that I just mentioned? Como va a identificar los tres las tres claves que tiene aquí enfrente cuando sabe que son preguntas? ¿Cuáles son? Ya las mencioné yo ahorita. Eh, cuando hace la pregunta con do, las respuestas son cortas. Uh -huh. Esa es una. La otra, ¿cuál sería? Le faltan y dos. Cuando, y cuando eh, las preguntas son con doble H question, ya da un poco más de información. Very good, very good, very good. All right, so remember, right now we, we are just checking simple present questions. The three hints that we have would be do, Does and WH questions. All right. Okay. All right. So do does and WH questions. All right. So now yo pregunto cuáles son las WH questions. The one that we know already. What, where, who, what, when, when, where, when, what, when, which, where, why. Mm -hmm. cool. Excellent, excellent. Very good, excellent. Round of applause for you guys. Where, what, when, who, uh, why, which, and how, right? We miss how, how. All right, so those are the WH questions as well. Yes, Ana, ¿tiene alguna preguntita? Me levantó la manita. No, teacher, perdón. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> no, no worries. All right. So anyways, if you have any questions, just uh, raise your hand like this, right? And uh, I'm going to double check. Okay. So, all right. Okay. So, entonces, cuando nos hacen las preguntas, usted ya las, las capta, pero tenemos que saber cuál es cuál y para qué es también, ¿verdad? Si yo le pregunto, let's see, Alex, when, I mean, si yo le pregunto, valga la redundancia, una pregunta, usted me va a identificar rápido, ¿verdad? Entonces yo le digo, uh, let's see, uh, how long is your house from Soyapango? How long is your house from Soyapango? Like this. How long, how long is your house, house or home, right? Or home from any place, right? But in this case, let's see, Soyapango. How long? So, what I'm asking, uh, what 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 I'm asking right now, uh, Alex, or what I'm asking you at this moment? How long is your house or home from Soyapango? We need to. Lejos está mi casa de Soyapango. Exacto. Pero acuérdense que tenemos que identificar rápido, ¿verdad? Si yo le digo, which 
way is the best option to go to La Gran Villa from uh, Soyapango to that place? Which way is the best option? If I am driving from Soyapango, which way would be the best one to hit La Gran Villa? Si estoy viajando desde Soyapango, ¿cuál sería la mejor opción para conectarme con La Gran Villa? All right, so, pero acuérdense, tenemos que identificar. Cuando es which, es porque estamos, ¿qué? Estamos diferenciando una de otra, acuérdense, which. Okay, which color, Maria, Maria Chiladora, which color do you like? Si yo le pregunto, which color do you like? Which color, porque yo le estoy, le estoy mostrando, le estoy mostrando, vamos a ver, me, tal vez me miran, le estoy mostrando y le, doy, le, estoy, dando, le estoy dando dos opciones, ¿verdad? Si ¿Sí me lo mira, se mira, se mira el, ok, y le digo yo, Maria, which color do you like? Like. Es black. Ajá. O sea, ahí le estoy preguntando que cuál color. Which es como cuál, cuál color es el que le gusta. Es la, el que usted va a diferenciar. Pero si yo le digo, Joana, what time it is right now? Joana Guadalupe, what time it is right now? It's nine o'clock. Night ten, right? Night twelve, night ten. All right, so very good. All right, so, and le digo yo a Jenny, Concepcion, le digo, Jenny, uh, how old are you, Jenny? I am five. I am. And you? I am 25, you said, right? Uh -huh. Okay, how old are you? How old are you? All right, a question, question mark. Y very good que me dijo, and you, me dijo, 25. Are you? All right, and you, le voy a decir, este, bueno, I am 26. Yeah. I just, I'm just kidding. I'm 49. I'm 49 years old. All right. All right. I'm 49 years, 49 years old. All right. 49 years old. Very good. All right. So, y si se dio cuenta, Jenny fue bien polite, ¿verdad? Me contestó y me, y me dio, uh, perdón, sí, me contestó y me preguntó. All right, the same time. So, por eso quiero que usted tenga en mente cuándo va a identificar el WS question. En este caso, y el do y el does, usted ya sabe que es para simple present question. All right, let's see one more time this video. I know that we already checked this video like three times, four times, but I want you to, you guys, make sure, I want you to, you guys, Uh, understand in a better way. Yo sé que ya verificamos este video como tres veces, pero quiero que lo identifiquemos nuevamente porque no sé cuántos eh, fogearon la plataforma en este, en este fin. Varias sí, veces. Fíjese que yo he tenido, perdón, teacher. Dígame. Fíjese que he tenido un poquito de problemas en esa, en las preguntas. A la hora de preguntar, eh, más o menos, yo las comparo con las que nos ha puesto ahí en el video, pero no me, no me resuelve el, 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 el test. Y entonces me he pasado a la siguiente, y los demás test sí los he estado haciendo, pero en esa sí yo me he trabado un poco. Es que a veces, eh, mi estimado, este, por ejemplo, yo estaba, ya vamos a solucionar algo ahí, ¿verdad? A mí mi computadora, no, me, no sé por qué razón, no me agarra el apóstrofe. Sí, entonces, entonces, por el apóstrofe no me completa la pregunta, no me la, no me la reconoce, ¿verdad? Pero en ese caso, por cuestiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Yo lo puedo hacer en este caso, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo este, poner apóstrofe en una computadora del tal y tal de modelo? Y ya le tira, ¿verdad? Y el, el, sí. el, el Google le tira la respuesta, pero por cuestiones de tiempo no lo hago acá. Pero para, en ese caso, usted trate la manera y usted dice, oh, Dios mío, no me agarra el apóstrofe, no me agarra el signo, el signo de, eh, de interrogación. Punto, sí, lo podemos poner rápido, ¿verdad? Pero a veces es de estar ahí verificando, batallando hasta que complete la pregunta. De igual manera, este, se debería comunicar siempre al grupo y ahí pues le va, pueden ayudar los compañeros al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? Por eso no hay ningún sí, problema. Sí, sería entonces necesario poner la interrogación. 
en, este en, caso, uno, ¿no? en unos casos sí, cuando se necesita, porque vamos a ver un ejercicio y ahí mismo el, la misma instrucción dice, no ponga el signo de interrogación porque ya está puesto. Okay. Ah, ok, sí, sí. Bueno, pasemos al video y ahí lo vamos a ir pausa, pausa, pausando, perdón. Ok. And does are the auxiliary verb. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. A conversation in which we meet at this restaurant at All right, I want to make sure, guys, and send me a, a little hand, a light hand, that you understood this uh, conversation. Mándeme una, una, una manita que usted entendió esta conversación. Y la vamos a practicar. Si la entendió, I just want to make sure that you guys understood. Quiero estar seguro que usted entendió esta, esta conversación. Mándeme una manita. Quiero verlas, please. Very good. Solo dos me han mandado, ahí los demás no me han entendido. Si no han entendido, no se preocupe. All right, we're going to practice. Okay, so now, very good, very good, Alex. All right, very good, very good, Anna. All right, so very good, Anna. Yes. All right, so the rest, asumo que hay problemitas, ¿verdad? No se preocupe. Aquí por eso estamos para aprender. Okay, let's go. Very good, Rudy. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, let's see, uh, Nelson, be my guest. You will be Jack. And let's see, uh, Rosa, you will be Amy, okay? Come on, let's go. Comiencen. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's... Okay. No need. <laughs> uh, then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They sell breakfast all day. Excellent, excellent. Now, Hugo and Joanna, be my guests, please. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on what the weekends. You get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. What time do you get up? Oh, that early on Sundays and get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good, very good. Alex, be my guest and Maria Auxiliadora, be my guest, please. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on the weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sunday. I get up at noon. You cut a Bristol thing? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at his restaurant at 1 o'clock. This early biscuit pass. Day. Very good, very good. Uh, Ana Maria, be my guest, and Jorge, be my guest, please. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. Uh, I, I be, uh, begin. 
Yes, you would be Jack and Ana Maria would be uh, Amy. Usted va a ser Jack y, y Amy va a ser Mar eh, Ana Maria. Ana Marina, perdón. Okay, that's good. Let's go on the bar on Sunday. Ana. Ana Marina, me escucha. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Sad, let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time did you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sunday I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Uh, sure, I have a breakfast every day. Let's last meet in the restaurant at one o'clock. They are they serve breakfast their, all day. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent. Run applause for you guys. Okay, Jenny, William, be my guest, please. Come on, let's go. Let let go to the park on Sunday. Okay, this lazy good is trains afternoon. He sleep later on Rainskin. Winskin. What time do you get up on Sunday? Up to ten o'clock. Oh that early on Sunday I head up at noon. Did you cut the bird first train? Sure. I have the breakfast every day. Train let's meet at a restaurant at one o'clock. Train serve bed first a day. Okay, very good, very good. All right, Melissa, and uh, let's see who else is going to be my guest over here. Melissa and... And Hugo, please. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on week. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. Okay, Nelson, be my guest and uh let's see. Quien no tengo acá, quien no participado. Vamos a ver. Uh, okay, we have more. And Rudy, uh, I mean no. Nelson be my guest and Abigail, please be my guest. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve it breakfast all day. Thank you very much. Very good. Rana Plus. Hugo and Glenda, be my guest, please. Go ahead. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What time do you get up up Sunday? At ten o'clock. Oh, ten early on Sunday. I I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. 
then lets me at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, Eva and Jorge, please be my guests. Eva and Jorge. Yes. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's, let's go in the afternoon. We sleep late on the weekend. What time did you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, time early of Sunday. I get up uh, at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I I have a breakfast every day. They let's let's meet in the restaurant. I'm one on club. They service breakfast on the day. Excellent, very good, very good. Let's see, Minor, be my guest and Rosa Feliciana, be my guest, please. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. You can do it. Minor and and Ruth. Okay, Minor and Ruth. Minor Santos. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, minor, are you there? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Repeat, go ahead. please. Okay, uh, usted va a ser Jack y Amy va a ser Rosa, uh, Rosa Feliciana, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant. At one o'clock, they serve breakfast all day. Very good, very good. Said and Peter, be my guest, please. Said and Pedro, come on, let's go. Said Abigail Carrillo Chavez with uh, Pedro. Pedrita. Okay. Let's... You will be Jack, Pedro, and Amy will be Saira. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. Good sleep. Good in the afternoon. I sleep late in weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sunday. I get up at noon. Do you catch this bath then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Thanks. Let's meet in this restaurant or at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good, very good. Now, Rudy and Glenda, be my guests. Thank you. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you head up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, what early? On Sunday, <clears throat> I head up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. Anna and Anna, please. Anna Maria B. Jack and Anna Samara B. Uh, Amy. Anna, Anna Marina, are you there? Can I, levantame la manita, quien no participado? <laughs> Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. 
Books lace would it would in taste afternoon. Isn't it place like on Wednesday? What time do, do you get up on Sundays? At ten o'clock. Uh, no, perdón, perdón. At ten o'clock. Oh, thanks. Early on Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at Aunt's Club. They serve bread, bread, five, bread, five, al, al, day, all day. Okay, very good, very good. No worries, no worries. Okay, now a uh, round of applause for you, for everybody, all right? So now Stephanie and R Rudy already participate, but now go ahead, Rudy. Rudy mm -hmm. and, and Stephanie, once again, please, let's go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you have up on Sunday? At the not log. Oh, what, early? On Sunday, in head up at noon. Do you cut breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent. Very good. Very good job, guys. Okay. Uh, Jancy, ya participó. Do you ready to participate? Jancy and Jenny? Sí, teacher. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So who else is not uh, is not participating? Who else ha has not participated yet? I believe everybody participated, right? So that's the reason, guys, that I like to see the cameras on. Porque cuando tenemos las cámaras encendidas, Yo solo me, me baso a los que tienen las cámaras encendidas, all right? And don't get me wrong, all right? So I just want to make sure that everybody's participating, everybody, all right? So I want to see everybody's faces, and that's all, all right? So that's good. All right, very good. Now, uh, before we forget to pass list, let's go ahead and pass list now, okay? Because no hemos pasado lista todavía, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a pasar lista en este momento. Wait one second. Let's see. And I'm sorry, I have a little a little flu. You know, I'm pretty I'm kind of sick right now. So if I, if you hear me or if I'm touching my nose many times, it's because you know <laughs> I have flu. Okay, tengo un poco de gripe. Okay, so now let's see. The list that it's from today. Today, what date is today, Peter? What day Hi, is teacher. what day is today? Is Monday. 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 What? Monday. Seven. Seven. Right. Very good. Okay, Abigail. Thank you, uh, Abigail Elizabeth. Be my guest. Go ahead. I am here, teacher. Very good. Excellent. All right, uh, Ana Maria Casares. Present, teacher. Very good. Okay, Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. I hear teacher. Excellent, excellent. Eva Elizabeth Ordonez Martinez. I hear teacher. Very good. All right, Glenda Karina Baños de Serna. Present, teacher. Very good. And Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Joana Guadalupe Fernandez La Reynaga. Present. Excellent. All right, let's see. Uh, Jorge Alberto Merino Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Very good. And Carla Esmeralda Orantes Andres. Carla Esmeralda Orantes Andres. Okay, she's not here. 
Uh, Carla Sofia Gonzalez Montano. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Catherine Guadalupe Carleta Perez. Catherine Guadalupe Carleto Perez. She's not here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marie, Maria Auxiliadora Cornejo. Yes, de Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, Marielos Elizabeth Avalos Barahona. Present. Excellent. Uh, Minor Alexander Santos Solis. Present, teacher. Excellent. Melissa Giselle Lopez Franco. Present. Thank you. Nelson Rutilio Orellana Ireta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uy, me pasó alguien. A ver. Moisés Abraham Rodas Chávez. Moisés Abraham Rodas Chávez. He's not here. Uh, Pedro Natán Ramírez Andrade. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Raúl Alexander Belloso Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. And Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos de Márquez. Present. Thank you. Rosa Feliciana Argueta. Present. Thank you. Rudy Omar Rivas Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth, thank you. Ruth Noemi Nunez uh, Pertica. Present. Thank you. And Saira Abigail Carrillo Chavez. Saira, Saira Abigail Carrillo Chávez. Yo creo que ya participó hace un momento, ¿verdad? Sa sí, ya participó. Saira, me, me escucha. Creo que tiene problemas con su, con su móvil. Ok, Stephanie Carolina Javier Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Swanny Marilacis Hernández Cornejo. Tony Marilacis Hernández Cornejo. Si, si tienen problemas con su, con su internet, no se preocupe, mándame un mensaje a mi WhatsApp o al, al grupo. All right, Wilder Gabriel a uh, Chica Alvarenga. Present. All right. William Alfredo Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, Jancy. Thank you, Jancy. Jancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante. Here, teacher. Thank you, Jenny de la Concepción Urbina de Meléndez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. All right, so let's get back to, on track. Let me share this information one more time. All right, so I see many faces now. Let's see faces that I didn't see before. Not a problem. Let's see. Okay. Just a moment. Let me share this. Uh, this moment now. Okay. Okay. Let's continue with this uh, lovely video. All right. So, and let's complete it now. Okay. So, do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule: do equals to I, you we and they does equals to he she and it this means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns i you we and they and we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he she and it Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus a verb plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? 
Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus the subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. Have is the verb. The lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and coworkers. Now, are we clear with this uh, with this topic, guys? It is clear, right? So yes. now it is. I mean, está más que claro, verdad? Ya lo ya lo practicamos like three times, four times, and I believe everything is clear. I want. I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding. You know, the right parameters, right? So the right uh, grammar point, all right? The ones that you need to have in mind in order to make sense every time that you are talking. Tenemos que saber los, cor los parámetros correctos, los puntos uh, a aprenderse para poder dar sentido a las oraciones que vamos a dar, a entender o vamos a expresar con las personas alrededor de nosotros. Ok, now, uh, let's see. Vamos a ver, aquí esta ya está contestada para... You understand this, right? So, let's repeat. Now, let's check. Now, let's check. Let's check. No, let's check. All right. So instructions: scramble the questions to complete the com the conversation. Write the question in the blank time. In the blank, this time you don't need to type a question. Mark at the end. Acuérdese que siempre que conteste un dic un cómo se llama un test un quiz lea la instrucción primero, verdad? Porque a veces, vaya, aquí estas ya están ya están contestadas, pero en este caso, por ejemplo. Uh, si usted se fija aquí, para entender la instrucción, dice, uh, I'm scramble, descifre las preguntas para completar. All right. So, entonces, aquí está el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ya, esto ya, ya lo hicieron, me imagino que ya lo completaron ustedes en su plataforma. All right. So, y la primera nos dice que es, uh, la respuesta, ¿cuál es la primera? La respuesta. Do you exercise? Do you exercise every day, right? That's the that's the question. All right, so, yeah, but I think it's going to be here. 
La segunda sería, what time do you eat lunch? All right, lo que me comentaba ahí el estimado, okay. que, a veces, que tiene problemas a veces, ¿verdad? No, Pero no, si es... aquí, no. Please, eh, 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 pardon. Eh, no, no agree a, a lunch. It. Mm -hmm. What time do you eat? Mm -hmm. Lunch. Sí, Lunch. No, no. Ah, ok. Um, Ahí está al otro lado. Ajá, solo tiene que correrlo. All right. Sí, so, okay, okay. Y acuérdense que el question mark aquí está ya, ya está puesto, yes. ¿verdad? No tiene que estar poniendo otro. En mi caso, mi computadora no me da este lo que es el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Ajá, si yo okay. lograra agarrarlo en ah, este momento. Yes. All right. Si lo lograra agarrar. Ah, eso no lo encontré. Vamos a ver. Solo no, no me lo tira. No sé por qué. Pero como le digo, es cosa de tiempo. Y este. Tampoco voy a pasar aquí toda la noche, ¿verdad? Voy a perder el tiempo. Entonces, por esa razón, a veces, a veces, a veces no le reconoce. All right. So, but no worries. So, I study English in the evening. All right. So, en la próxima es. When do you study English? When do you When do you study English, right? And the next one, the last one says, do you and your Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Okay. All right. So Mm -hmm. Yes, we play soccer on Sunday. All right, so everything is all set. Solamente acuérdese lo que le digo yo. Make sure to understand or, yeah, comprehend. All right, the, comprender la instrucción. Si usted no la entiende, va a pasar aquí una de sus tres horas completando este, este juicito de cinco preguntas. Y sí. tiene que ver ahí lo que está sucediendo, por qué no le reconoce la pregunta, ¿ok? So, okay. if we don't have any questions, let's pass to the next exercise, ¿ok? Y dice así, uh, let's repeat, lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Acuérdense que para toda, very good, acuérdense que para toda lección hay un objetivo, right? Y el objetivo es de que usted aprenda. ¿Verdad? Aprenda algo nuevo en esta clase. Y en este, en este momento dice así, el objetivo dice, by, by the end of this class, you will develop skills and predicting, scanning and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. All right, so, dice, al final de esta clase, ustedes, ustedes desarrollarán habilidades en predecir, escanear, secuenciar eventos después de leer y discutir tres entrevistas sobre horarios, ¿ok? When you hear something about horarios or schedules, all right, which is in English, all right, the right word, what it comes to your mind? ¿Qué se le viene a su cabecita cuando hablamos de horarios? ¿A qué se está refiriendo? ¿Se estaría refiriendo el lector? Programaciones. Could be uh, another example. Uh, no. Horario de, de que le pueden pedir a usted uh, en este momento. ¿Para qué va a querer un horario? Horario de clase. Horario de clase. Horario de, de trabajo. Very good. Excellent. 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 Very excellent. All right. So now let's go ahead. And we are going to double check this video, all right? But the topic uh, from today would be reading what your schedule like. Repeat, what your schedule like. What your schedule like. Like this. Es, es que yo, es que yo, es que yo, sí schedule, all right, así se, así se escribe, perdón, así se pronuncia, verdad, pero se, se escribe así como lo mira acá, verdad, porque acuérdese que every time that you use a new, or that you try to pronounce a new word, your hard disk is like working harder, su, su disco duro está trabajando un poco, un poco más fuerte, 
than before, porque te dice, si usted lo mira la palabra, dice, si la mira, dice, schedule, schedule, Dios mío, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? ¿Verdad? Entonces, schedule, repeat, schedule. 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 Como la ketchup de tomate. Exacto, sí, schedule. Sketchup, pero con L al final, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿y qué quiere decir esto? ¿Qué quiere decir esto, verdad? Que le dice, vamos a ver, le dice... Le dice... Vamos a ver, vamos a ver... ¿Cuál es tu horario? Y eso quiere decir... ¿Cuál es tu horario? What, what's your schedule like? Pero usted me va a decir, pero que like yo a veces lo he ocupado como gustar o lo he ocupado como como, pero no como de, de, uh -huh. de comer, no que like, ok, de, de como, o sea, como, como este, este proceso, como esta clase, like this class, like this process, you know. Pero entonces en este caso, acuérdese que es de esta manera. What's your schedule like? ¿Cuál es tu horario? All right. ¿Cómo es tu horario? ¿Cuál es tu horario? Entonces, acuérdese cómo lo va a decir y cuál es la manera correcta de pronunciarlo, de, ajá, de pronunciarlo y de decirlo. Porque sometimes what we, what we do is this. We mention something that... Eh, aquí el americano, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? El, el americano, el nativo, lo entiende. Pero es como cuando usted escucha a alguien hablar español independientemente venga de cualquier país y no sabe hablar español, ellos hablan bien, bien así cortado, ¿verdad? Que dicen, mi perdido, mi eh, uh, ear centro cultural, centro, centro San Salvador, ayuda, please. Entonces, ellos no coordinan las palabras, ¿verdad? No coordinan eh, simple present, simple past, simple future. And remember, our language, I don't know if you already know about this, creo que se lo dije la vez pasada, que nuestro lenguaje, el, el, perdón, el español es una de las lenguas más difíciles. ¿Por qué razón? Porque nosotros a todos le ponemos diminutivo. A todos estamos haciéndole chiquito, bonito, chiquitito. A todos le, 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 hacemos, lo, le, le, le ponemos un diminutivo al 100. All right? So... <clears throat> What I'm trying to tell you right now, guys, is that you guys need to understand what people is telling you when they are talking to you. O sea, usted tiene que entender lo que las personas le están tratando de decir siempre. Ahorita vamos a ver unos ejemplos y se fija que van a hablar de Britney, van a hablar de Joshua y de Maya, ¿ok? Y lo que le van a preguntar es, ¿cuál es tu horario? Y ellos ahí empiezan a dar la información respecto al horario que le están pidiendo. Y si se fija, es horario de clase. Uno, es, uno está en la universidad, otro es un, web, un web design, website designer y la otra niña es una rock musician. All right? So, let's watch this video, okay? Just a moment. Maya Black, rock musician. Like. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. 
Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Student reporter Mike Starr. Hey, teacher, your microphone were off. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, what we try to do here, guys, is to understand the uh, dialogues and the conversation that we have here, right? So, tiene que entender, tratemos de comprender qué es lo que están diciendo en estos diálogos o estas conversaciones. Para entenderlo, all right, let me explain this in Spanish. Para entenderlo, hay que este, reconocer las preguntas, acknowledge the questions, all right? Si usted se fija, aquí el muchacho, aquí el, el, el Brittany Davis, Mike le pregunta, what's your schedule like? All right. ¿Cuál es tu horario? Viene Brine y de inmediato identificó, ¿verdad? My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. Viene este, este niño, uh, Mike, y le vuelve a preguntar, when do you classes end? ¿Cuándo terminan tus clases? De inmediato, Brittany le dice, uh, excuse me, they end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. ¿Ok? ¿Está siendo bien específica Brittany? Sí, ¿verdad? Porque son compañeros, all right? So, pero mi punto, lo que le quiero transmitir en este momento es de que hay que entender lo que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Si yo le pregunto a... Uh, Let's see. No sé si ya le hemos hecho esta pregunta, ¿verdad? Pero si le digo, uh, How you feeling, guys? How you feeling? I mean, why you, why you look so sad? Why you look so, so, so sleepy? So you might say, probably, para, digo yo, ¿verdad? So you might say, Well, I'm, I feel so tired. Pero yo le digo a Hugo, Hugo, ¿Por qué? ¿Por, qué se mira, ¿Por qué se mira tan can, ¿por qué se mira tan cansado, Hugo? O sea, en español, ¿verdad? Y viene Hugo y me contesta. Uh, fíjese que ahorita a comer voy. Entonces, he didn't acknowledge the question, right? He didn't recognize what I tried to ask. No, no. So, if I ask you, if I ask Hugo, Hugo, why, how, why you feel so tired? Viene él, como es mi chero, ya mochera, me dice, well, Mr. Escamilla, the reason that I feel tired is because I'm being working the whole day. All day long I'm being working, and that's why I, I just came back from home, and I woke up around uh, 4 o'clock early morning today. Oh, my goodness. So that's the reason that you feel sleepy, all right? So eso es lo que quiero transmitirle, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a seguir. Eh, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta respecto a estos, a este tema. What's your schedule like? Any question, guys? Any questions? Acuérdense, pregúntenme porque si usted no, no me pregunta, yo asumo que usted entendió, ¿verdad? Y no quiero que usted se vaya así no, sin algo en su mente, en su, en su, en su hard disk, right? So, remember, try to follow, you know, the platform information. Try to complete the platform information. The ones that the our coordinators are being requiring every single every single week. Try to complete them in order in order for you get the space. Trate de completar las las la plataforma el proceso de la plataforma para usted poder obtener su espacio la próxima clase, verdad? Porque asumo de que quieren seguir estudiando y terminar este esta linda carrera, verdad? Entonces. Uh, no sé, if you have any any question, got any questions so far? No questions. Oh, 
Okay. Everything is all set. What time it is now, uh, uh, Peter? What time it is? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay, guys. Very good. I see you tomorrow. God's will. Primero Dios los veo mañana. Sleep, rest. And if you haven't eat, try to eat something light. Si no comido, trate de comer algo suavecito, ¿verdad? I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.